I'm Justin, this is Zach, and this is Ryan. We are the Waltman Recall Project, and this is 64 Sessions. <laughs>
Hey everybody, we're back here in the old studio and I've got 90's alternative music extraordinaire Walkman Recall Project. Amen. Hey guys. How you doing? How's it going? How you doing? Thanks for coming, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Nice to be so here. So we got Justin Smith, Ryan, what's your last name, Ryan? Good Link. Good Link. And uh, Cocker, Zach Cocker, I blanked. I'm sorry, <laughs> Zach. Zach Cocker, which we just uh, figured out we are relatives, kind of. It's a small world. Well, yeah. I should have done that one. It's hard, yeah. It's hard to throw a rock in Walker County and not know somebody. I know, know, man. It was bound to happen eventually yeah. to get a relative up in here. Yeah. I'm surprised you're my first one, to be honest with you. <laughs> Even though it's not blood, we'll count it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how long have you guys been a band? It's not not too very long, yeah. right? Coming not up even, on a yeah, year. Yeah, April. Right, maybe, right around a year, yeah. probably. Yeah. 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 We what were, made you guys get together? How did you guys meet? Well, these guys have been playing together a while. And I'll let yeah. them tell a story on that. Oh, uh, really? Me yeah. and Ryan. Different band. We grew up in church together, actually. And we started that way. I was probably 14. You were... I was 12 yeah. when I got my first bass. I was about 12. So we were doing the youth band thing. That's awesome. Yeah, and that's then cool. um, I hooked up with a guy, Charlie Barrett, and jumped in and waiting for Portland. And then we needed a bass player, so I called Ryan. And he said, um, "Of course, I said yes." <laughs> <laughs> they so all they offered a show at um, Good People. They gave me about a week to learn about thirty songs. Yeah. So you know, and that's he, always he good. Yeah, it, was, it was wonderful, man. <laughs> man. And was that was great. the first time we had all been on stage together. Like we didn't ever rehearse all together. It was oh, just cool! Yeah, kind of yeah. threw it together. And, yeah. Man, sometimes for me, those those are the most fun shows. Oh, yeah. oh the energy for the show exactly. was just awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Had like, a great time. There's definitely value in being a rehearsed band and a, and a tight band, but there's something just fun and you know, whatever, I don't know, exhilarating, I guess. Just flying by the seat of your pants, mm-hmm. you know. Just get up there and sit in with somebody and, and just yeah. look for the visual cues. Yeah, right. you know? yeah for sure. And uh, you, you get better with that, as you know. Yeah, you do. Well, yeah. it's kind playing of playing with Zach for so long. Like, you know, you can just kind of feel your yes. drummer out too. Like, yeah, absolutely. I'll, we'll look. Like, I'll look at Zach, and I'll know when he's gonna hit a feel. You mm-hmm. know, and I'll hold the note or something. Yep. It yeah. just kind of works like that. Yeah, there's a handful of bass players that I play with too, man. Adam yeah. Stacks, Brad Baker. God, I shouldn't have started naming people. So I'm gonna leave somebody out. <laughs> yeah, but, but you're all good. Yeah, whoever you are, you're great. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know that's one of those things. Like, you don't even have to look at each other. Oh yeah, really, uh, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's just like you're in each other's head sometimes. Yeah. It's weird. You know? <laughs> we're starting to kind of get that feel now when we're starting to write everything. It's just yeah, for sure. They yeah. can tell what bill I'm about to do when I start to slow down, just sawing out. They're out. So you guys stuff. have some original. We stuff? got. What we say, they're not two and a half. <laughs> two and a half, yeah, that's a good <laughs> two number. and a half. Yeah, one we've one. A, we got both of them music and vocals, and then we got another one that we started working on the other night. Had, we put a little clip on the Facebook. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, and it's a uh, the Walkman Recall Project Walkman Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're working on it. We're working on it. But uh, this guy's, you know, drummer behind the scene, writing this whole book. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> so, you're so, the uh, you're the main writer. No, no, no. I I have one song that I wrote years ago and yeah. kind of introduced them to okay, yeah, so we've yeah. been picking it up and practicing practicing it's, it he's got a bunch of dave slash incubus style stuff that we're going to try to present pretty oh, cool, soon man. Yeah, yeah we hope yeah. well that'll fit right in with the you know 90s yeah stuff because that's 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 really what you guys do right yeah 90s early 2000s yeah. for the cover yeah. stuff anyway. yeah, 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 yeah yeah right yeah. And we're trying to make our originals kind of have that vibe, mm-hmm. you know, like if, say, if Hootie or Matchbox opened up, you know, which is long, wild, no, <laughs> then, you know, they say, hey, y'all want to play? And then we can actually do that same stuff. Well, That'd be awesome. If y'all see this, we'd love to do that. 100%. Hootie will definitely see yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, we hope. <laughs> uh, uh, it's definitely like, um, there's not a lot of band, or at least I haven't heard a lot of bands, mm. you know, coming out with that sound anymore like when's the last time you heard a band that sounded like Incubus no, you know what I mean you can't time. name them yeah. and I love that band that's one of my favorite bands of all time yeah I saw them in Hoobastank yeah well, Hoobastank like yeah I love Hoobastank it was about well and it was so hot <laughs> like and they were late or something they were delayed we were just standing there in a big wad you know <laughs> just nuts to butts and they were just passing out uh cups of water and yeah. they had a hose and they just started hosing everybody down it was <laughs> so hot dude God. but man it was fun 
It was a really cool show. I was always the Creed follower back. back oh in yeah, the day. Dude, I mean, Creed. hence, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think one night we were at a. Uh, Alabama Rose, <laughs> and I remember I just had cut my hair off, and you said, "Why'd you do that? You like Scott Staff?" And I was like, That's what "Dang, I, I could have started a Scott Staff Creed <laughs> tribute band." So then I grew it out the next year. Yeah, yeah. dude, if anybody can start a Creed tribute band, I have faith in you. Yeah, man, you got sure. Paul Reed Smith sure. now, so. dude. Yeah, you yeah. do have the Paul Reed Smith. Yeah. I had to twist your arm to break it out. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. It's pretty. It is pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Thanks, sure. It sounds really good too, man. Well, one of my buddies, uh. Adam Marin actually had two of them. He brought uh, two of them over to the house, and he had a McCartney. You know, like those are crazy expensive. And I'm not familiar with. McCartney. Yeah, it's kind of you know like Fender custom shopping, okay. that kind of kind yeah. of stuff. Well, like anyways, a he, yeah, yeah. Sure. Well, he brought both of them, and when he told me it was coming, I was like, "Well, I'm gonna buy that one." You know, for the deal he's gonna give me. Mm-hmm. Then he got over there, and I was like, "Well, it's really not all about what guitar it is, it's what feels right." And then he got me that custom 22, and that thing just. I hadn't played a whole lot of Paul Smith. Whenever I looked at him, I said, I bet that plays like that, and it just butter. Butter. The action's yeah, great. Man. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. You get that feel. I, well, I heard. Yeah. 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 It's all about that feel, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've walked in and played a couple of them that I thought felt right, but the price was not right at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. They don't give those things away, man, no, for some reason. No. Unfortunately. They will, but it comes with a three-year credit plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're probably got to sign once, initial twice. Yeah, that's man. it, man. That's it. <laughs> They'll give it to you right on the spot. I went to Bailey Brothers, my first set of sound equipment I got. I had to get my mom and my, I think I a girlfriend or somebody to drive me there because I was just excited. <laughs> Anyways, we left and I was like, what are you going to do tonight? Nothing. <laughs> I can't yeah, afford it anymore. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Be good count and change for a little bit. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Yeah, man.
which, yeah. you know, me and him started playing together, and uh, me and Ryan did, and we probably practiced with just a guitar and a bass for oh, man. three, yeah, four months. Yeah, probably, like, just learning songs and just going over stuff. And we were yeah. finally yeah. getting to the point, it's like, man, we're going to have to get something or yeah. just go acoustic or do, do something. Yeah. And then he talked to Zach, and he said he was playing with the other band, and yeah. I didn't know if we'd be able to make it work or not then, and then it kind of turned into a, a full thing, and... It's, it's going good. Cool, yeah, man. Yeah, good. I sure. like the name, too. Who came up with the name? I guess it was me. He, uh, yeah. <laughs> we, we had threw around a bunch of names, probably. Mm. Probably like 12 names. Yeah. And uh, he just wanted to go something that kind of referred to kind of older stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I threw around just a bunch of names. He Something around Walkman. It was a bunch of stuff mm. around Walkman. Mm. And uh, I was asking around, you know, at work and places like that. And uh, everybody's like, well, I like this one. This one sounds good. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I've shot a text to Justin. I yep. was like, well, you know, this is what people are responding to, mm-hmm. so yeah. I figure that's what we'll do. So that's we'll a good way to do it. Because, yeah. man, that's one of the hardest things about having a band is coming yeah, up with It's real hard, yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. man. It's, it's like, a process. I wish I could I wish I would have written down all the names. Of the guys <laughs> came up with, some know. of mine were bad. I know. I wish I could yeah. remember some of them because I'm sure they were hilarious. Yeah. Looking back, yeah. remember that band Red Jumpsuit Apparatus? Yeah, oh, yeah. you know how yeah. they come up with their name. Uh-huh. You know the story of that. Mm. Jumped out of the plane? Nope. They just the took. <laughs> they wrote down. They all wrote down like one noun, one and, and like two adjectives or something like that, <laughs> or maybe an adjective and an adverb or something like that. Yeah. And then they all put <laughs> put that stuff up on a board and literally threw a blindfolded dart. <laughs> In the first that's three names, wow. they got. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It worked out. That's yeah. a pretty yeah. unique name, definitely. <laughs> Maybe if we ever do a collaboration, we'll do that. We'll just throw a dart. It's <laughs> a good idea. Yeah. I mean, yeah. shoot, this is good as any other yeah. reason. You know, I had a hard time coming up with a name for this thing. Like I went through. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I went yeah, through like. Name, yeah. uh, I was gonna go with the wood ladder sessions because mm. that's the wood ladder over there. And I was gonna like, I don't know, try to make some metaphor about. Climbing, walking, the image climbing up. I don't know, man. You know, you're going for a good metaphor. Yeah, I was grasping, man. I was, I was drawing a blank, man. And it just came to me one day after, you know, work. I don't know, just kind of after I slept on it. Yeah, it kind of popped in my head. Somebody asked me the other day, does that, does that mean he's going to do 64 sessions? That's going to be it? It's like, no, it's like Walker <laughs> County, 64. He's getting all the local stuff. Yeah. Just been good, though. That's what's cool about the show. Like we yeah. said earlier, it's, you know, every, most people have been on there. Mm-hmm. We've touched, you know, strings right. with somebody in the band. We've all played together a little bit. Yeah. Right, so yeah. Even if it's for a two-song set, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. get up yep. at the old Malley's. Yeah, Old rest O'Malley's. in peace, O'Malley's man. Yeah, that was the good. That's one, one thing about this town th- that I do like is, you know, everybody's pretty much cool with everybody, mm-hmm. music wise. And if you do want it, which if I ever go out, I'm not really looking to sit in. But yeah. you know, if you go out and you do want to sit in, yeah. I'm you know, ninety nine percent of everybody's gonna be like, sure, man. Yeah. You know, absolutely have that. I, I, you know, that's one of my favorite things yeah. about this, being a small town for sure. We were playing at Twisted Bar the other night, and they never they heard Jim Odom play a little bit, but they had never got to hear his range or anything. And yeah, he, he sat in with them, and yeah. of course, at Africa, which just rocked it. And Did you? I mean, surely you knew that song. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a hard one just to follow yeah. along yeah. to. Yeah. yeah, that's got a weird. And it's funny because. Um, I'd actually downloaded Africa like two weeks prior to that. <laughs> I didn't have it, and I heard it on the radio, and I was like, I'm going to download that. Yeah. So I was listening to it, and I'm glad I did because it helped me brush up on it. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, yeah. man. Serendipity. Yeah. <laughs> did a couple songs with him. I got up and did a, a bass lick a couple times that I did from mm-hmm. the old O'Malley's, too. You know? Yeah, definitely. Old Brad used to let me borrow his bass for a couple songs. and. <laughs> He was always much bigger than I was, so I was like, no, I know, man. man. Yeah, so yeah, you used yeah. to play bass mainly. A lot bigger, tall. Uh, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't take that man. We know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, got it, you, got it, you got it. You used to play bass mainly. I did right? used to play a lot of I bass. think that's what you were doing when I met mm-hmm. you, was just kind of just playing bass. I was bass. trying to get into it. I was big Victor Wooten, Stu Ham, all those guys. You had a music man. I, had a, I music still man. got a music man. Oh, you still got I, that I, music I, man? That was actually Nick Sparks' old music man. I didn't know that. Yeah, Dust, that's right. Dustin Nolan had a. He actually showed me a couple licks and actually a lot of good music theory and everything on mm-hmm. bass. And he said, "Man, I had an old Fender jazz bass, five string jazz bass." He said, "Uh, I got this pretty cool guitar. It's a little expensive, you know, but I mean, for what it is, it's bad. And it mm-hmm. was it was old Stingray five. And is this the orange one? It's a like a sunburst kind of. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. And uh, 
I was I think I seen Nick Sparks playing with the Jefferson Brothers one night at Brew Brothers, <laughs> and uh, we got to talking and uh, I was talking about my bass and he said, "What's it look like?" And I said, "Well, Sunburst five string." He said, "That's my bass, man. I sold that. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it to Dustin Nolan." That cat's good on bass. Yeah. Dude, both of those guys are phenomenal. And Nick Nick rarely plays bass anymore. Yeah. He's swapped to like to keyboard now and he's killing, <sighs> killing it. Killing it though, man. Killing he's it. He's got when you can get him to play, yeah. You know, he's yeah. he's kinda of doing the law thing these yeah. days, mainly. I seen him play with uh what's Jim and them's band, Kinder uh Oh, not just Ryan Kinder. Kinder. Yeah, well, yeah. Ryan Kinder, you know, they used to play with them. They what was the name of that band, though? I'm they trying to, the Divines, the Divines is who I was trying thing. to think about, you know. They cut, crushed it. Vocally, just oh, yeah. three piece just killed it. Yeah, their harmony was ridiculous. Yeah. But yeah. I digress. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that a couple times. Yeah, well, that's what yeah. we do here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, like as far mm-hmm. as like how we met, uh, I was playing Twisted Barley. Actually, I hadn't played in a while. I took a big break off, but while I was yeah, off, I was, I was learning a bunch of. It was like, you know what? I tried when I used to go out and watch everybody play. I was, I was a song sponge. You know, I was like, okay, this got a real good response, and this guy played this one. But like in that meantime, that time off, I said, I'm just gonna play what I want to play. Uh, and, yeah. You know, we wound up getting the same stuff, mm-hmm. and uh, he wound up showing up at a show one night, at Twisted Barley, and. We just kind of hit it. You used to play with my brother some, didn't you? Yeah, in church? back when we were younger. Um, Josh. Me and Josh played yeah, some. Josh, yeah. he's a great, he's got a great voice. Yeah. Well. He can play piano. He's, he's killing the keys, too. Yeah, he's oh, very yeah. good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Little little ones might be slowing him up a little bit, but, you know, he's doing good. How many's he got? He got one now. He got a five, four, five or six months old. Oh, okay, I should be cool. a better uncle. I know, you know, exactly. <laughs> yeah. but, you know. Well, congratulations, Thank Josh. You. Thank you. And you, uncle. <laughs> yeah. Uncle yep. Jay. Yep. yep. Anyway. Yeah. What what about him? What were we saying? Um, <laughs> where were we? Uh, I was probably like 15, uh, probably not 15, 16 maybe mm. when I started playing with Josh. Mm. And I mean, yeah, we were just playing church stuff. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't even know Justin played or anything. I think I remember Josh talking about him playing. But uh, we actually met through his brother-in-law, mm. Terry. And yeah. uh, he had a video of us. He came out and seen us. We we had a regular gig at yeah. Good People. We played there a lot. Like once a month, uh, yeah, at yeah. least. And uh, so he took a video of us playing, I think it was Freebird, actually. I don't really remember. Uh, <laughs> so we were playing. He had a video, and he showed Justin. He's like, man, y'all should get together, you know, play. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Justin was playing at Twisted, I think, the second night they opened, second show they opened. And mm-hmm. uh, I just went for some beers, and I seen tj there and so he's like hey y'all meet you know mm-hmm. get together uh we always swap numbers and we met and practiced and cool kind of love the first time yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. <laughs> remember one time like I, I knew josh from uh from college he was in the jazz band yeah. or choir or something yeah. with me i can't remember choir yeah yeah so I knew him from there, and I think I knew kind of that y'all were brothers, but mm-hmm. I just didn't think of y'all as brothers, you know? Yeah. Because I didn't really see y'all together, and then I knew you from a different way. Yeah, you know? yeah. We were yeah. friends from, from not from college, just from, yeah, you know, yeah. being friends and playing music and stuff. And one, night, one night, we had been uh, partaking in some adult beverages oh, yeah. in the basement, yeah. and we decided to, you know... Uh, play mm-hmm. musical instruments mm-hmm. about one o'clock in the morning, you know, <laughs> at eleven. Yeah, and it was eleven. Josh was asleep down there. <laughs> had to he work. came out, and my beer's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh, hey, Josh. <laughs> oh my God, y'all brothers. Pretty sure, you had, pretty sure you had to be at work at six o'clock next morning, yeah. and it wasn't that yeah. far away from it. Yeah, yeah. He, he put up with a lot when we no really, kid, with man. my grandparents because bad for him. Where the drum sat was right directly under his bedroom. He was a real, I mean, I'm sure he still is, but, you know, real straight-laced guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't into drinking and partying and stuff. He's still not, man. He's right, that's what I'm saying. True. Yeah, he got, true. he's always been like that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Good dude. I like Josh. Sorry, sorry about that, Josh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. So if somebody were to come to a Walkman Recall Project mm-hmm. show, what, what could they expect to hear? Like, what... Name some set list material. We do a lot of Audio Slave. Yeah. Uh, Alice in Chains, Tonic, Gin Blossoms, Hootie. Do some Hootie. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matchbox 20. I mean, pretty much all that kind of genre. Yeah, yeah pretty much late 90s, early 90s. Yeah. Uh, do you guys play your originals out? Stuff. We do. We just yeah. started. Yeah. Cool, yeah. man. We just started cool, this. good. Played our song Cubic Z. Y'all hear that shortly. Yep. Uh, we we did it the other night, man. Had a good good turnout for it. Good crowd. Twisted Barley, you know, they've kind of stood behind us for whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, they've been good to us. Yeah, I love those guys, man. They, and they, and they like to bring good music in. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is not going to be out, you know, before. It'll be out way after they, they've they been through. But they've got a band um, that's from Canada mm-hmm. coming, coming in called the Embrys. And uh, they're going to actually come in here and do a session with them. That'd be cool. That'll be yeah. awesome, yeah. Because it's not every day you get a traveling band from Canada to come through Jasper. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so. sure. Yeah. And they're good. They're very good. I checked them out, you know, because Andrew Brassfield is actually the one that uh, put me in contact. Uh, thank you, Andrew. Yeah. And uh, they're friends. They've known each other for a while. And uh, Andrew said they reached out to him and said, hey, we're going on tour. Where should we come, you know, in Jasper? Yeah. And he's like... 
Twisted Barley. All right. <laughs> you know, he does the open mic thing there yeah. Yeah. every yeah. other Thursday, I think. They have a lot of talent slings through there. Definitely, man. Yeah, That's what I'm do. saying. They're, they're yeah. fans of good music, and they, mm-hmm. they bring good music to that venue, man. Yep. It's a cool place. Yep. It's kid-friendly, got cornhole. Yep. What can you ask for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. Giant jinga, giant jinga, and it's hard for when we're playing in there. I'm on the microphone. If somebody knocks it over, it's I, I can't not say jinga as loud as I can. Yeah, on the no, microphone. for sure. It's like a twitch. Dude, it'll wake you up too. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Because it's loud. loud. They used to have it right loud. beside the stage, and it was just boom. Yeah. I know. Yeah, they yeah. moved it back. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty cool. Have a heart 